The following video is sponsored by NBA Live Mobile Coins.com. If you're looking for NBA Live Mobile Coins, be sure to check out NBA Live Mobile Coins.com and use code ClickWid at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? ClickWid here back again with another NBA Live Mobile video. And guys, today we're going to be talking about are the new packs that were added into the game this morning. Now, I'm not necessarily a big fan of these. I got to be honest with you guys because I think that basically what EA is doing is pay to play. And, uh, you know, as much as I understand from a business standpoint what they're trying to do, it's also very frustrating as a player who's trying to build the best team that you can because basically what they require on every one of these sets that they eventually put out they do these promos and they basically end up requiring that you put money into the game or you get just like extraordinarily lucky in some cases or things like that so it's very very frustrating and in this case this is one of those examples that i feel like it's going to end up being only pay to play so today guys they added new packs like i said into the game now we have a mobile madness pack which we've always had that's good you can obviously purchase those with coins 40,000 coins the problem is that you can't get brackets out of those packs or pro packs or any other pack that's in the game the only time that you can get brackets is by completing daily events or by completing the objectives that you need to actually get more of the brackets so that's very frustrating however they added new ways to get brackets today and all of them require you spending money. So you take a look first of all here guys at the bracket booster. Now the bracket booster you can purchase twice. It's 250 uh, NBA Live points or bucks or whatever they're called. Um, and, and basically guys what you're going to get in them is 5 brackets per time that you complete it. So you can get 10 total today it looks like. Now I would expect that they're going to be having these in the game going forward as well potentially. I don't know that for sure, but it's very possible that they do it more than one day, especially if people are purchasing these things. Um, so you can actually get 10 brackets by spending money, of course, to do it. Now, you can also go in here and you can do the Relive the Madness bundle. Now, this bundle is going to give you 10 total Mobile Madness uh, themed packs. And what it's going to give you is a topper of what's being referred to as a glass slipper. Now, the Glass Slipper collectible can be used um, in the Legends of March Madness uh, sets. Now, what it can be used for is in place of the Legends of, um, of March set or elite players so you put them in there like it's almost like a wild card type of a thing it seems um obviously we haven't seen it yet i'm not gonna purchase it i don't think i mean this thing seems extremely expensive what is it five thousand points that's a lot man that's a lot of, of cash to spend just to complete this set and you don't even get brackets out of this thing but what it does is it allows you to not have to get those elite players which can be very very expensive especially if you're doing them right away so you know, that's one thing to consider, guys, and it's very frustrating, like I said, because it can get very, very expensive to try and complete these sets, and all you're trying to do is build the best team that you can. I mean, it is Ultimate Team, right? You shouldn't have to spend money on it, but that's the way that it's become, man, in these games, unfortunately. So, uh, what I am going to do, guys, today is I am going to open up some more of these uh, March Madness packs, or Mobile Madness packs, excuse me. And we do get a Mar Marcus Morris Team of the Week right off the bat, so we started off strong with an Elite player, so that's definitely nice. We'll open up, like, 10 of these or so, just to try and see if we can get anything decent. And we do get a round of 64 Elite, a Jody Meeks, so um, that's actually pretty valuable. So, we've gotten two... Uh, pretty good pulls to start off the packs so far guys not anything super amazing but definitely some decent pulls to start it off and hopefully we can continue with that type of luck and right here we do get 264 players um 264 gold so obviously those can be upgraded to a 64 elite player eventually if you open up enough of them of course which you know it, it might be it might be worth it to open up some of these i don't know i just like to do it because i just like opening packs man i mean that's definitely the reason to play mobile is because you can get packs and it's actually possible to open up decent stuff in packs whereas on console i swear man obviously uh, nba live doesn't have console yet but on madden especially it's like it's freaking impossible to pull anything good almost in in madden console when you're opening packs it's very very frustrating so continue to rip through these guys we'll do three more after this one and we do get a Kawhi Leonard here 87 overall we also get an impact uh, collectible there 
Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'll hold on to it for right now. So we end up getting a Kawhi Leonard, two golds, round of 64s, and um, yeah, that other elite. So that's not a bad pack either. So three decent pulls so far. We'll do two more, guys, and hopefully we get something good. Got a bunch of golds there, not anything of super good value, and nothing there. You know what? We'll do one more. We'll do one more, and hopefully we get something beastly here. Come on, man. Let's go. And we missed. Damn. Well, we've got a whole bunch of the uh, round of 64 gold players that we'll probably be putting into sets to do upgrades. Obviously, you take the round of 64 elites, you can turn them into round of 32 elites, 32 to 16, and so on and so forth. So, uh, we're going to try and complete these sets as well as we can. I'm going to show you guys where I'm currently at here with the Mobile Madness sets. Um, unfortunately, I'm pretty far away from completing the Curry. I don't have anything for him right now. Like, I've got, I've got one bracket. I got one out of 20. I can obviously go purchase a round of eight elite player if I need to or do upgrades like I've said. Um, but I'm pretty far away from completing this thing because of the lack of brackets. Even if I went out there and bought the 10, I'm still nine away from completing the 92 curry. So that's very, very frustrating. Um, obviously, we still have the, the um, final four coming up here. So I've got to decide what I'm going to do with my brackets. Do I want to put them in and complete this curry? Or do I want to save them and hopefully I'll be able to complete at least one of the players for the round of four? And I don't know if they're going to do a championship round as well. We haven't really found that out yet. But um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, so actually, let's see here final round now it doesn't necessarily say that this is the end but the fact that it says final round that actually kind of indicates to me that they might not be doing a championship round which is kind of unfortunate but at the same time we'll be getting ourselves like a 94 overall elite player um at least i would guess so that won't be too bad but man that sucks if they don't do a championship round that's gonna be a little bit frustrating hopefully they have enough live events that you're able to actually complete these man hopefully you'll get enough I don't know, but um, yeah, anyway, guys, so actually, let's see here. I, I didn't even realize this was here. Round of four. Oh, man, we might be able to actually complete these things. Wow. Let's see here. You need a round of four player, and it's going to give you, what, 50 brackets? Is that what I'm reading? So I don't know how many is it going to take to complete these. What are these things? I don't even know what these things are. This is crazy. Let's see here. How many of, it, of, of these is it going to take? 25. So... You'll be able to complete two of these at least if you do this set, but still you're going to have to pretty much, my guess is pay to play for the rest of them. Damn, that sucks. Well, I mean, at least, at least they're making it achievable to complete this without spending money if you open up packs and get lucky and obviously have a bunch of coins. So I don't know. I like, I, you guys got to let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about this? I didn't even notice that they had these here already, the round of four. So I mean, we're, we're definitely at the point where we're going to be able to complete at least two of the players. So, I don't know what I should do. Should I take these these uh, collectibles here and put them into the curry? Or should I just throw away the curry for now because I did it in the wrong order? I would have probably preferred to have the curry over, like, the Christian Leitner. But what are you going to do? Um, I don't know. Let me know, guys, what you think I should do regarding these collectibles, uh, the brackets. And are you guys frustrated as well that they've made it so difficult and made me to be able to complete these sets let me know in the comment section below guys what you think hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will talk to you guys again soon